Hey, it's you. Did you manage to catch any jellyfish? Yep, here you go. Looks like you're in a much better mood. Huh? Last time we spoke, you were all stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, you want those seafood gels, right? I'll make you some straight away. We'd hate to put you or this place in any danger. As soon as you're done, could you bring them to the harbor? Got it. You can all go on ahead. Though I still find it hard to believe that my seafood gels could actually attract that stupid frog. Here you go. Fresh seafood gels. These look delectable. All right. Now, let's see you prove your silly theory about my gels attracting the light frog. That's it. Don't look directly at the light. You'll pass out. There it is. Wow. It's bigger than I thought. Maybe it mutated. Save your theories for later. Here it comes. Those fires really were because of my seafood gels. Well, it's possible the light frogs are drawn to any type of gel. If you can, I'd recommend the entire town to stop dealing in gels for the time being. You're right. I'll talk it over with everyone. You've done so much for our town. Thanks. Emil, I apologize. It appears you were correct. I would have never believed the Nazdro... <laughs> Sorry, the Light Frog would be interested in seafood gels. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I didn't mean to say all those harsh things. Emil. Well, 
Hopefully this puts an end to all of the tragic frog fires. Perhaps it's time we considered booking passage to Flanor. You're right. Come on, we've got to get those Centurion's cores before Lloyd does. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>